Watch the lads, welcome to Oak Swamp and part 12 of the Austin 10 special wrap. Firstly this week I'd like to say a big thanks to all the new subscribers. Cheers lads, welcome aboard. And if you're not subscribed, maybe you should think about it. Because there's plenty of content coming up and this old Austin's just starting to get interested. Also I'd like to thank everyone who commented last week. Nice one, keep them coming. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. <laughs> Okay, so this is as far as we got with the clutch. I shortened this side right down so we can get some mechanical gain. So the pedal will have to move further to move this the same distance. I kind of fancied a bit more pedal. What's going to be handy is having the bit of adjustment in there. But until I fit the new clutch, I'm not going to set this up because it's pretty straightforward now. This all the hard work's done. <laughs> pieces off because I've had this head off already and these are a pig to get off so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to strip it down to nothing well pretty much nothing anyway I'm going to lighten and balance these rockers are going to get a bit of a clean up and all because there's a lot of metal being moved there I'm going to probably port these heads I've tried run away get away run away I've tried run away get away run away I've tried run away get away there you go there they all are. As you can see, these pistons are really clean. And there's no movement at all on the rings. And the head is not too bad. I started cleaning up that one ages ago, just to see what we had under there. All the valves looking good, innit? great deal of meat on there to lighten but I'm gonna have a chat with the blokes at the machine shop and maybe I'll put some holes around here. Uh, that's cracked. So that flyer is no good anyway. Alright so I'm taking out the oil pump and as you can see the drive goes down on onto the cam down there. Apparently this is a weak point but I shall investigate that. Well, the cranks bang on. All the journals are really good, which I imagined anyway, because I believe this is a real low mileage engine. I'll do the work so I've got to do on it, and then Bob's your Charlie. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is give this engine an identity. I bought this die grinder. 12 quid on eBay. How do you make that for 12 quid? Unbelievable. Hey, ho, smugglers, ho. Gasket set, 25 quid, that's cheap, isn't it? Faster, 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 yeah! Take it out of one I go, get me away from the smuggler's hole. Take it out of one I go, get me away from the smuggler's hole. There you go. She's your 
opened up. Now these stem seals are rubber. Now, what they do is they sit on the valve stem, essentially sit here, and they stop any oil going down. And that's what they're made of now. <laughs> really hard rubber. And it's brittle. But I've got some new ones of those. Right, so the first job I'm gonna do on this head is to gasket match it. With gasket matching, usually what you're doing is trying to keep the ports as big as the gasket. Now, they're exactly the same size, but they don't line up. They don't line up, really. So I'm going to ignore the gasket. What I've done, I've started opening this one up, and this is my guide. Now, that is just enough, because it, it nearly fits in these. Now, I don't want to take heaps off of here. I just want to flow it up a bit. But what it's doing is getting rid of the casting marks, which is making it a bit smoother. So I'm going to just take that out as far as I can, get them to all line up, and then put the gasket on, and then alter the gasket size with this. So I get these all in the same place. What I'm going to do is spray this, and then measure up, and then scribe some lines across. Black Billy Brown, he's a mean old man. Black Billy Brown, he's a mean old man. Take my advice, you best avoid him if you can. Cause he's a mean man. Got him mean man. He's a mean man. What I'm gonna do is drill out these guides as they're a massive obstruction. <laughs> Take them down enough as I can. I'm going to have to get the die grinder in to finish that bit. As you can see, the guides are smoothed in. Now I'm just waiting to get some softer cutting and I'll, I'll smooth all this right off. And if you look in the ports, you can see they're opened up. Now it just needs polishing up and cleaning up. Next job I'm gonna do is to lighten these rockers up a bit. So I'm gonna take all the edges off and radiize. And radiize everything. Let's see if we can get a bit lighter. It's eight grams. At the end of every month, he drives himself into town. At the end of every month, he drives himself into town. Gets a bottle of whiskey and he sits himself down. Just cleaning up these pillars as well, taking the casting marks off them. Fix up the bottle and pours the whiskey down. Fix up the bottle and pour the whiskey down. And no one says a word to old black Billy Brown. So what I'm doing, I'm going in this one first, down there, down there, then right the way around this edge. There's a bit of a hump on here that comes off these edges, then take these edges, and this corner here. Back in, they look quite sweet and they're all lightened and they're all a lot shinier, so the oil is going to drip off them nice. These have all got a slight lip on, so I'm going to put a radius on them.
made them a lot smoother. Next we're moving on to these pistons and rods. Now what I'm going to do, leave the rings on, I'm going to clean it up first and then I'll weigh that as a whole unit with the pin in as well. And then I will match the whole lot together and then I'll do the same on the rods but I've got to make a bit of a, a, bit of a weighing device. What I'm going to do first is polish the head of the pistons and then knock it back with this and then put it on the mop. What are you doing here? This is after dark. Only 20% of people come here. So if you're watching this, that makes you special. And as you're special, I'm going to show you something. Someone give me a new petrol tank. Look at him. Now that's a sneaky peek. Don't tell anyone. And I'll see you next week.